so we have our center punch I will leave the item in the description uh, there will be a link to send you on where to get these all right but um yeah so I'm gonna push this down and I want to mark the center of it so that's the center of our hole all right I'll do the same with the side and the other side All right, now that we have the center of our holes punched out, I'm gonna put my safety glasses on and I'm gonna go ahead and drill them out. There's the first one. Like I said, they are a quarter inch. So we're gonna go all the way up to here. And we can verify that by the size of the hole and the drill bit like this. All right. Um, I always like to work my way up to the size, so. We'll go and do that. If you want to know um, what drill bits I'm using, they are DeWalt drill bits, um, and I will leave a link in the description, um, and you can purchase them from Amazon. All right, so get that one drilled, and last we will get our quarter inch drill bit here. get our current drill bit here. So we had our quarter inch drill bit, went ahead. This is our quarter inch drill bit for that hole. The sides may be a little trickier, but I think we'll be okay. Since I already have the center punched out, It'll be pretty easy to get it drilled in. And these drill bits are nice, so. So we drilled through that one. Get the center hole for this one. You don't need much force for those, but uh, we're done with that drill bit. Move to the sides up here. Alright. You can probably just keep that on there. Do the other side. We can do a 732nd before we use the quarter inch. All 
Okay, and then we'll go to our quarter inch. this on there if you want. Line up the holes and go ahead and put your screws in. Um, put your screws in to verify that everything lines up, the bottom hole lines up. All right, so we can go ahead and get this cut, this end piece cut off. Um, let's see if I can cut it with this. Might be able to. That way you don't have to bring the uh, cutoff wheel out, but you do what you like. I'm just using this. Cut off pretty nice. So. Cool, so that's it. Um, you can, uh, you know, use a, um, um, you can use a file or some piece of sandpaper to clean this all up, um, but we're gonna go We'll do that in a little bit. I just want to get this mounted on here like this. We can take a hardware now. Um, you can use quarter inch. Um, we're gonna swap this out for some stainless, but uh, we'll go ahead and put our quarter inch. I might put, I'm gonna put washers on it. This side. Okay. So, just like that. on here like I said your kit will come with um, the uh, hardware I'm just using different hardware today and I plan on putting stainless steel hardware on it um, here soon so we can get our ratchet we can get a ratchet and go ahead and tighten all this up These are seven sixteenths. These are seven sixteenths. So, like I said, we'll clean this all up here in a little bit, but that's how it looks. So we can go ahead and get this mounted on. I'm gonna start with the bottom. I'm gonna start with the bottom first.
so we'll tighten it up. We can keep it loose, that way we can slide our condenser down inside here. We can keep this bracket loose. That way we can slide our condenser in, like this. Slide in like that. Okay. So that's how it will mount, like that. We may have to grind off the back of the plate here because it's got some, um, I could show you. So I'm going, I'm going to have to grind off uh, some of this off of this plate right here because it's not, not exactly flush with this plate right here. So I have to grind this off um, and make it flat. But um, other than that, I think this will mount up really nicely. And if we do need to make adjustments, we can always make adjustments to the hood latch assembly. Um, this is just a custom core support that we'll have to work around. So, um, other than that, everything is going great. Alright, so I went ahead and trimmed the back of the plate up. Um, now it's nice and smooth on the back. That's nice and smooth. Alright. So it'll, it'll butt right up against the core support itself and won't have to interfere with the condenser I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom bolt back in I'm gonna stick a bolt in here on the top for now help me align this thing I can go ahead and show you here. This is what it looks like. All right. There's a flush on the back. Okay.
want to be very careful with this. Don't want to puncture it. So we've got it in, in the line here. Go ahead and get some hardware. Go ahead and tighten these up. We can always put a piece of rubber behind this, that way it doesn't rub. But um, yeah, we'll go ahead and just tighten these up. Tight there. So our line down here will go right here to this. You can always scoot this over. Well, this this bottom fitting on this bottom mm -hmm. cap this bottom cap off If you can see down here, our lime. Take the other one. Now we're gonna see where we're gonna put a hole at for this lime. So the line basically go right there. We're gonna have to make it as big as this. So we're gonna have to get a hole saw as big as that. Um, 
actually I might take the battery out because I gotta make a piece for that I'll probably just take that battery out now headlights out or we'll remove the headlights stick them right here going to be the center of our hole. So if I make it as big as this, it'll allow me to move um, just as much how big as this, how big this is. So if I drill a hole this big, I can move this little line more either way and I can notch out this little piece right here for the uh, aluminum core support. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a hole saw bit that's big, like this size. That way I can sneak it through there like this. All right, what I wanna do is I'm gonna put the uh, Headlights back on, and I'm going to check and make sure that the grill will fit on here just like this is. So we've got our grill.
looks like everything lines up pretty well. Finento's right there. We had to notch it out a little bit right here. Um, our power steering cooler we will fix. But yeah, it's looked pretty good. We'll have to make some brackets for the uh, condenser, but we're, uh, we're moving in a good direction here. Alright, so we'll probably have to notch this out a little bit down here. But I want to go ahead and get this hole cut. That way we get our line on and situated. I put the cap back on. That way we don't get shavings inside the fitting uh, there. Probably make a pilot hole. That way our bit goes into it. It's a bit wore out, but we will. So we will uh, just make the hole a little bit bigger and drill it right in. So just want to make sure things lined up here. eyeball it take your hose see how it looks to the end of it right here So we'll go ahead and drill it out. Being that our drill bit's a little bit bigger than our fitting here. Just a little bit bigger. So I could slide over it. We'll be able to maneuver this in in here somehow. We'll be able to put it inside like this. Scoot it up and then walk it over like that. Right. 
check your backside. Make sure you don't drill into your uh, radiator. Walking on it. Almost on the other side. There it is. So we'll clean up the area. We'll deburr it and everything, but looking very promising. So our hose will go, you know, like that. Don't want to get anything in there. to our condenser. Like this. Alright, so now that we have everything mocked up, the line here, the line back here, everything's mocked up. Um, got our bracket on the bottom here. I want to trim out right here where I drew this Sharpie line because um, I want to move the condenser over to the right more. So we'll go ahead and get this taken apart and so we'll go ahead and get this taken apart that way we can notch this line out right here and put our new orifice tube in.
set this to the side. So, we're all done mocking the uh, compressor and everything up. We're going to take that out. Take this compressor out. Take the AC compressor bracket off. So we got that off. We'll clean up some of this wiring in here. I'm gonna get some new heater hoses. Heater hoses are leaking. And then while we're in here, I wanna go ahead, I wanna make a bracket off the battery here because one side doesn't connect to anything. So I wanna fix that. Take this off here. Take the accumulator off. Those off. So we've got our orifice tube here. This is what will go in the bottom line on our evaporator, this big box right here. So we'll put this in. I want to get the line off the bottom. All right, so we're gonna take this bottom line off right here. 
Uh, I'm probably gonna get a cap for that. I think I got one on the old one. So I have a cap for it right here off the old line. See if it'll fit. I think it will. Put that on. Take that off. So we'll go ahead and get this bottom line off here. Set this to the side. All right, we'll take our orifice tube, our new one. We'll stick it in here. Um, there's some oil in the bottom, so um, it already has oil around it. We'll stick it in there like that. All right. It's in there nice and tight. Yep, good to go. Push it in there. Now this one's a uh, variable one for different climates. Um, they say that it's, it's actually uh, better because it can regulate the flow of the refrigerant at a lower RPM or if you're sitting at idle. So the uh, AC will perform better. That's what they say. So these hoses we're going to have to replace. Unfortunately, we may have to drain out the coolant. Um, so... I might come back to that. And put some new wire loom around this too. All right, so what I'm gonna wanna do now is I'm gonna get this headlight out of my way. All right. And then we're gonna come over here.
All right, we're gonna want to trim this part out. This part was the center mark that I made. Um, so between these two lines, I wanna use a drill bit possibly and you know, bore it in uh, the best that I can. So we'll go ahead and get that done now. Might use a file or something. A file might be better. Because it's hard to get in inside of here. use a file on this. It's hard to get in inside here with that bit. I'm gonna see if I can use a file on this. Not gonna be the prettiest, but it'll at least get us over enough. Um, you know, we can even use the drill a little bit more.
Use the drill a little bit. Okay, cool. So we notch this out a little bit more. Here. That way we can accommodate our um, our line for our condenser.